Tonight, a 17-year-old boy is dead and other teens are hurt in a car crash Friday in Newport News. And now we're learning more about what happened. Emily Harrison has been looking into this today. And Emily, how oh, many teens do police say were in that car? Well, a spokesperson with Newport News Police says four people were inside that car. All four are minor, minors. One died right here at the scene. Medics transported another to a nearby hospital, and two others walked away with no injuries. The crash happened just after 2.30 Friday afternoon on the corner of Jefferson Avenue and Pavilion Place. Newport News Police say the exact cause of the crash is still under investigation, but we know that one car hit three other cars in the area. A spokesperson with Newport News Public Schools confirmed that the boy who died was a student at Warwick High School. Administrators released a statement saying, quote, to support Warwick students and staff, counseling and emotional support services are available at school today. The name of the victim and the other children involved will not be released because of their age. However, Casey Taylor, a leader with Youth of Virginia Speak Out about traffic safety, says each deadly crash serves as a reminder of what can be lost. It is very um, just heartbreaking. Um, it's a life loss, uh, a life lost and um, you know, that impacts not only, you know, the family, but friends, the community. Taylor says her organization launched a statewide initiative today, urging all teen drivers to be more aware when they are behind the wheel of a car. She says the responsibility also falls on parents to talk to their children. It really can make a difference to just sit down and have a conversation, you know, with your young driver about, um, you know, making good choices behind the wheel and following all of the um, teen driving laws in Virginia. All other drivers that were involved in this crash are OK. A spokesperson with Newport News Police says it could take weeks before this investigation is wrapped up. Live in Newport News, I'm Emily Harrison, 13 News Now. Once the investigation is over, Newport News Police will hand over their evidence to the Commonwealth's attorney who will decide whether anyone will be charged.